in this video, I'm going to go over using Flipgrid. Um, Flipgrid is a video discussion board where your teacher might post a question and you would then use a link or code to go onto that discussion board and leave your video response. And you can get feedback from your teacher through video or from other classmates. They can also reply to your video response. So one way to access Flipgrid is that your teacher will then show it on your Google Classroom and they can give you the direct link that if you click on it, you could just click on this link to go directly to Flipgrid. Or if you're using a mobile device and have the Flipgrid app that you can download for Androids or iOS, the teacher will give you a code that you can put in. But either way, it's going to take you to your class's grid or what there's called groups now, actually. When you go in there, it's going to ask you to join with your Google account. All the grids are locked this way, so only those that have the correct email address can log in to view class responses. So you click on join with Google and make sure that you sign in with your Google account. And then you'll open up to your group topic and you'll see that at the top would be where you would then read the instructions of your group topic of what you need to do. It says introduce yourself in 90 seconds or less and share something that makes you smile. So these are your directions. Also up here, your teacher, depending, might actually leave you some resources as well. So maybe they have a video response they want you to watch before responding. Maybe they have um, documents or pictures. So they can leave you some things up here, different types of media for you to use, depending on whatever your prompt is. When you're ready to respond, all you need to do is click on that camera to record your response. The first time it's going to ask you if it can access your camera and microphone, so make sure you click on allow. And then the camera and the mic are loading. And so you have one minute and 30 seconds to record your video. And I have different options for recording my video. I can either, oh, there I am. I can upload a clip. If I have a video that I've already made, I can upload a clip. I can um, take off my audio or I can record my screen. I can also change my mirror video. So I can also record my screen and start recording as a screen recording. And it's going to ask me if I want to record my entire screen. And then I click on share. Three, two, one, that's my video recording. So now it's going to start recording whatever it is that I want. It's oh, my whole entire desktop. So it's recording everything that I'm doing. If I click on a different tab, it's going to record that. When I'm done with my presentation or my response, I can stop recording. The one that's my video recording. Oops, so see. now it's going to start recording whatever it is that I want. It's oh, my whole entire. So the now you can see there. Let me pause recording. it over here. So now it's. So when you go through this, you can actually go clip by clip and delete pieces of your video if you don't want it and um, trim it. So I can delete this particular clip. I can um, confirm if I want that deletion or not. So there's different things that I can do. I can confirm that I want to delete this clip, which is the whole entire thing. I can start again. Um, there is the option to flip your camera view. So if you have an outside viewing camera, then you're able to flip that camera view. Mine only is only facing one direction, but if you've had a dual facing camera, you can flip your view. And then there's a lot of different effects that you can add to your video. So some of the new features are that there are now borders around your video. So if I were doing like a newscast, then I can do that. Depending on what my topic is about, there's a lot of different frames that you can use within it. Um, 
some other features that you have just by clicking on effects. There's different types of filters available. You can add text. You can have a board. So if I wanted to actually present and have a whiteboard feature that I would like to draw on, I can do that. I can split my screen so I can actually see my face while I'm also using my whiteboard. And from my whiteboard option, I can add a text box. And let's see, there's my fonts. When I'm done, I can just click here. I can move that around. And right now I haven't started recording. I'm just getting myself prepared. So if I wanted to start my recording now, I have this ready. I'd start recording three, two, one, and then it's gonna start recording. And I can always redo what I need to redo, but there's a lot of different options to play with as you do in your video responses. When you're done, then you just click on pause there and I go to the next feature. This is where I can and review and I can always redo. I can review. I can, if I want to go back and add more. So when I'm done, I finished it and I was like, oh, I want to add something else. I can add more time and record again. And then I can merge those clips together just by cutting and moving things around. You see how I have these little hands here. So I can move clips of videos together if I add more time and record again. If I'm finished and I'm fine with my presentation, then I click on next. And then it's gonna ask you for a selfie, which is the what's gonna look like when you first post your video. So I can either show my face on my selfie or I can um, select a frame from my video that I wanna use. Or go back and just take my camera. There's also the option of adding pictures if you're adding pictures directly from um, your device. So let me go back. Whoops, I don't want to do that right now. So let's just go ahead and just take one here. That one came out a little blurry, but that's okay. I click on next. and it's uploading my video. Once I have uploaded my video, I need to make sure that I go ahead and put my name. I title my video as my introduction and I can go ahead and submit my video. Once I see the success, then I know that I have submitted my video to the grid. Now, once my teacher has seen my video, they can respond to me and give me feedback that only I can see. If I wanted to see feedback for my videos, and this is where I find it for any of my Flipgrid videos that I create, I would go to my.flipgrid.com. And that's where I can find all the videos that I have created under my login. So that's why it's always important that you log in with your Google account. And then everything that's associated with your account Let's give that a second. You'll be able to see all of the videos that you've made. And then you'll also be able to see if you have any replies or feedback from your teacher. So just remember that when you need to review your videos, and that counts for all videos that you do on Flipgrid, no matter what class it is, no matter what group you belong to, it's going to be in my.flipgrid.com. And that's where you can review your feedback. So that pretty much is how you would use Flipgrid. It's very simple to use and very user friendly. So um, I would definitely recommend using it. And it's just a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. 